Good morning, everybody, and welcome with Knitting with Nancy. I'm here at the Stitch and Post, and I'd like to switch it up today because we're gonna, and I got my bells on. We're gonna talk about crochet, which is something I am horrid at. So I don't have a demo today, but I do want to show you these really cute kits and some new yarn because I happen to love these. And if I could do crochet as nice as these, I would have a menagerie of these kits. It's, and I do have my favorites, which I will show you. So these are taught. And I'm going to let Val, I'm going to talk for a minute while she scans through all these kits. I mean, look at that little stegosaurus or dinosaur. I'm not sure quite what he's called. Here's the stegosaurus. I'm going to hold him up because is that just not the cutest? And I have to find my little bunny that's over here because he's one of my favorites. But the picture of him, and he's the easiest, makes him look kind of sad, but he's not. He's She's just floppy, or he's just floppy. But they're so cute. The giraffe, we have a lion, a deer. And I'm sorry, is that cow not the best? Look at that snout. So what we did, because we love Toft, is this time around, we brought in their yarn because we sell their books. And I wanna open these, because I don't know how close Val can get to some of these pictures, but if you look, it comes with all the patterns. So just to get, there's the bunny, for instance. The kangaroo. A little, a koala? Wood mouse. A wood mouse, oh, even cuter, except for not in my house. A beaver. There was a great story of a beaver back east that one day there were trees and the next day these two little trees outside my store back east were gone and they brought them down into the culvert. It was, I mean, John didn't like it, the owner, but it was very cute. So then we have monsters. And what's really different about this book is you get to pick what you want. So- I love this. We love, <laughs> yes. So you get to pick your feet. Whoops, let's get to different arms. Your arms, and then your head. And then you can switch. I mean, look at all these different, how's that? I mean, you couldn't get any cuter than this, different bodies. Look at those hands. So if you or your children like monsters, look at the, now how cute is that? I matched. I mean, they make you giggle. And then, I have to say I love this one because I love birds. So it is taken after I know the Christmas Carol. Whoops. But look at some of these, Beatrice. I mean, can't you see just making all these birds? Look at his dush. Let me get to the front, because I like this one. So you can do the raven kit, and then you can have the bird to match. Oh, and here's my favorite. Hold on. I know I have a lot of favorites, but this is Gilbert, I like the name, Gilbert the Pheasant. And <laughs> just look at his tummy. So I wanted to show you all of these today and then show you the yarn because we brought in all their DK weight yarn for these kits. So it is a beautiful 100% wool. 
These are 100 gram balls. They sell for $26.50. You have 220, uh, excuse me, 246 yards. It is a hand wash, all wool, but I gotta tell you, it's really soft. The colors are really cool, so they go with all of them. But then you can have fun with these. These are $9.50 for these mini balls. They are 60 yards. Sell for, I think I just said it, $9.50. But look at these beautiful colors. Just think of what you could do with this. Make monsters. Make monsters, Val's right. But the other thing, and I've been reading about it online, is you could do Fair Isle. So you could play with Fair Isle. It is a full DK weight. I would prefer to crochet monsters and in my favorite color because I'm a green person. Oh, 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 but one that matches me today, gold, of course. The other thing, if you are not a crocheter like me, you need to have this in your library. So it's the A to Z of crochet. It is a great book. It does go through all the basics of learning how to chain on, fasten, and then it goes through how to do the different stitches on it. And how to do, um, works with like little blocks. So you could play with this. The other crochet books that we have here, and I love Edie Ekman. I was able to meet her a number of years ago. She has some beautiful books, Crochet Borders. I did this a lot for knitters because of um, how you can finish blankets, how you can finish the edge of a sweater um, and other things that you might not want to finish with a band. You could put, imagine if you put buttons and did this at, as a buttonhole. So lots of good information there. And then we also have crochet one skein wonders. And so here we have, I brought this because it's an alligator, so it's different than that. But again, think about how cute it would be to crochet your own gator. So today was a short, I'm not gonna demonstrate. We also have um, some other crochet kits here, uh, the bags from Church Mouse that you can make. It's a knapsack you know, over your back arm. Or, and we have those kits online. I wish I could show you better crochet, but yeah, I had a friend back east, Barbara, who kept saying, you gotta learn, you gotta learn, and I never really did. Paula is our expert crocheter here at the Stitch and Post. So jump in, dive in. The Toth kits are labeled one, two, and three, one being the easiest. For instance, Rufus, the dinosaur, but then you have three being more difficult on it. The kits are all complete, so they come with everything you need, including the, um, the stuffing, the needle, the darning needle, the hook, you name it, it's in there, and all the yarn to make the kit. Or like I said, we have now brought in all the yarn. Um, all our hooks are up online as well, so please look there. We like waves from Knitter's Pride. I love the way they feel. And I will see you next week. I have a tease for what's coming up. I don't, I didn't bring it over, but it's a new shawl pattern. And it's fun, it uses cross stitches. And we're gonna talk about the alpaca yarn that we have, that we haven't used yet on a sample. And here, it will be here next week. So have a great week, everyone. And take care and have a good afternoon.